Ramadan kicks off tomorrow night. It's the ninth month on the Islamic calendar and lasts for 30 days. The holiday includes fasting, prayer, and self-evaluation. Joining me now is Sel Busarek, who is an educator and community leader. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Of course. So we mentioned a little bit about this earlier. Uh, explain to us uh, what Ramadan is for those of us not familiar. R Ramadan is actually the renewing ourselves and the restarting the uh, self explanation and the finding ourselves better. Uh, if you look at the Ramadan explanation, nine months of the uh, lunar calendar of the Islamic cal calendar. But when you look at the uh, Ramadan, actually for myself, it's getting myself to better and the understanding myself and they try to make me better human being, bringing the justice, peace and the harmony to the community. Sel, I think you might be having some audio. I'm going to let you put the earpiece back in. Can you hear me now? Yes. Thank uh, you. What are some of the traditions that take place during the month within your home? My uh, my home. Uh, we are trying to bring the community together again. The uh, last ten years, more than ten years actually, 2000, since 2007, we invite the, all the community mem members or the co whoever wants to join the community, regardless of the, their background, race, and the you know the uh, political views or anything, bring the people together and the breaking the fast. As you know, the Ramadan is like a fasting. Most of the things, uh, most of the people know about the Ramadan uh, during the day, not eating anything or drinking, but actually it is more than that. So when the people come together, the, like uh, breaking the uh, fasting time, uh, everybody is like uh, connecting and the understanding and uh, educating each other. How has the pandemic so how has the pandemic impacted the holiday? The pandemic, of course, last year we canceled all the gathering together. And in the Ramadan, actually, people get together and they pray nighttime, so they all canceled. But since the things is getting better this time, we starting and the resuming the our community dinners and they will start the inviting the people and the, we will uh, enjoy and the get the connection that's more sincere and honest uh, communications and the learning from each other again. And of course we will get some uh, kind of the, uh, you know, the, not the everybody's uh, big numbers but uh, we are going to make the small numbers and the, we will keep the distance each other. And the, we are highly suggesting that if they get this, uh, you know, vaccinated, me and my wife totally get vaccinated, so that's why we don't have a problem. Hopefully it will be like a peaceful uh, gathering together. And earlier we were reporting imams around the world are encouraging people uh, during Ramadan to still continue to get vaccinated if they have the opportunity to do so. Of course, definitely. Uh, we should get the, all the uh, precautions, uh, whatever we can do. Because again, the Ramadan actually uh, building the peace and justice and the harmony so we don't want to be harmful to anybody. Uh, we cannot make like, a, oh, I am okay, but uh, we should think the others too because thinking others is the most important. Actually, Ramadan is uh, empathy, bringing empathy. Sometimes we have a lot of things happening around us and they were saying that, oh, I'm so sorry about the, you know, the things happening to you and the, in, we are, if we are not in this situation, we don't even understand. Last, actually, pandemic show us the, how important the, like uh, connecting to people and the understanding each other, uh, everyday activities. We lost many things. Many people is stay in the home and they, some people even lost to their job. And they, some peop many people actually have the main uh, different uh, mental uh, issues. So understanding and the doing the empathy is very important understanding and empathy you said it best Sal, thank you so much for joining us this morning thank you thank you for inviting